magnificent tribute to the men and women of the Easter 1916 Rising. The first thing you know about the commemorative piece is the colour scheme, which is taken from our national flag. The overall green colour, the white background pieces holding etchings of landmark buildings from the Easter Rising. And finally, the decorative vast circles representing the colour orange holding symbols from the Rising, including the Easter lily and commemorative medals. The second thing you should notice about it is its octagonal shape, eight sides, seven sides dedicated to the seven signatories, Clark, McDermott, Pierce, Connolly, McDonough, Chant and Plunkett, with the eighth side dedicated to volunteer Thomas Trainer, born at Cannon Quarter Tullow in 1882. Together, the eight sides form a strong and safe haven for the flame of liberty at the top of the commemorative piece, which represents Irish freedom. To paraphrase from the 1916 proclamation, along your reception of our right to national freedom and a sovereignty by a foreign people, but despite that usurpation for hundreds of years, the right of Irish freedom, represented us here today by the flame of liberty, was never extinguished. Each of the seven signatories and volunteer Thomas Trainer is pictured with biographical information on the commemorative piece and a short extract from their writing. In the center of the commemorative piece is the harp of Ireland, carved from oak by Colum Doyle and fitted with brass rods as strings. The engraving was carried out by John and Anne Duffy of Laser Now Tullow. And so, uh, I also want to mention Mark Dawson for the torches. They came all the way from America. To Pat Byrne, Mick Doyle, Dan Cahill, Philip Smith, Alan Mullen, Gary Dagg, and Robert Doyle of Burnside Aubusil, we express our sincere thanks. You have gifted Tullow a truly unique commemorative piece which will remind generations to come of the sacrifice of the men and women of Easter 1916, and in particular, volunteer Thomas Trainer, our native son. Erin Gobrath.